No one wants at the end is. It's a little rocky. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. You just kind of. I don't you, have any religion. I don't have any path. Do you believe in God? I believe in God. I believe in spirits. I grew up in the church. I know God? the gospel. Say, say the word top. What do you do at a green light? A green light? Ooh, thank you. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> so if I can deceive you in one second, say you can deceive a person over 30, 40, 50 years. You say you're going to hell with a scholarship. <laughs> Ruin board pay. Gasoline draws. Woo! <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> you I, I spent my I spent my whole life in the church. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. I had a church home and everything. It's around the corner. So. All right. So what about you? Where where, where are you from? And uh, kind of how, how was your life growing up for you? Um, I'm from Jersey. Um, I moved down here uh -huh. to Georgia. Um, went to school in Georgia. I played pretty much every sport possible. Oh. Super athletic, love contact, love competition. Right. I like to win, so. Yeah, I ain't asked y'all name. Oh my goodness, that's rude. <laughs> Andy. Andy? Yes. All right. I'm Sid. Sid, Andy and Sid, okay. So what are y'all doing these days? Like, what's, what's y'all up? Uh... Oh, yeah, basically I have a marketing company. And I was a promoter for a long time. From, like, I went to college in 07. Right. So probably from like 09 to, probably like 2015, 2016, I was a promoter. Yeah, man. I went to school for marketing, so I kind of learned that being a promoter was marketing, basically. Yeah. What what school did you? I went to Gordon, and then I went to uh, Atlanta Metro. Oh, I am a tier two network admin for the DoD. Um, okay. I work in IT. I went to school for biology, chemistry, and psychology. Um, so I am nothing of what my majors entail. Right. 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 <laughs> so, right. My career is completely different, went a whole nother direction. Right. Um, I went to Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern? So that's it. That's it. HBCU? Absolutely not. Oh. And I just pretty much do what makes me happy. Really? Yes. Hey, I, <laughs> no, right, we're not no, together. No, that's it's my like, dog. Yeah, that's, that's your like dog. My sister, bro. He can't get rid of me. <laughs> Y'all cool. Y'all are so cool. Are y'all gonna come back and play sometime? Like, come back and do Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, nobody pick me up. I'll pick you up next time. No, don't pick me up. So, everything everything gets better with effort and faith and believing in yourself. So, yeah. And believing in your destination. Yeah. And that the end of your destination is gonna be worth it. So, all right. So, what's at that end is just a little rocky. Knowing what's at that end is. It's a little rocky. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. That. We're a little opposite right there. He's 100% <laughs> secure in his faith and religion and okay. all of that. Yeah. I don't. You just kind of. I don't you, have any religion. I don't have any path. I just have the love just, for God. Just, and, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so where do y'all see yourself in five to ten years or I don't know. With a million dollars plus. Dang. That's what I see myself. Million dollars? Yeah. What you gonna do with a million dollars? A million dollars to make more millions of dollars. <laughs> it takes money to make money. I got you. Yeah, so, so that's where I'm gonna be at. Uh, okay, all right, all right. Where, where do you see yourself five, ten years? I see myself married with kids. Married with kids? And hold on, your head went back. I mean, uh, he gonna be I married mean, that, next is week. Absolutely, that is absolutely a good place to be. Don't, don't let the cap fool you. It's a good place to be. Did you, how old are you? I'm 10. I, I'm, that's great. I'm glad you want to be married. Are, are you not dating anybody at all? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, okay, I'm just playing. I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. So, all right, y'all ready for the other question? Yes. Okay. So, the next question is, I'll start with you because you got an interesting view. And you don't have to have my same view. Uh, what do you think happens to a person when they die? Or what do you think happens in the afterlife? Do you believe in God? I don't even know what I'm trying to ask. I believe in God. I believe in spirits. I believe that energy is transferable and we just transfer on in life yeah and i just believe that um, depending on who you are okay. what you stand for what you stand on that's where your energy goes yeah there's darkness there's light yeah you have any idea what that may be mm, or are you just me, kind of no. kind of fuzzy um, on? i know that god is always going to be on the right side so i try okay. to go that way yeah. but also if there's a god there's something bad so, yeah, that's a that's real good. I like that you said that. So yeah, there is always the dark side to it. So yeah, just gotta make yeah. sure you stay right. Okay, all right. <laughs> but Sid, what you think, man? Oh yeah. Oh no, I I know. 
what's going on. I was about to say, I grew up in the church. Yeah. And I was raised by older people. My mom's older and my grandma. Sure. My grandmother raised her. Right. So, you know, I yep. grew up in the church. I know okay. the gospel. Say, say the word top. Top. Say the word top, top, top. Top, top, top. What do you do at a green light? Stop. A green light? Ooh, dang it. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a sixth grader got me with that. But, but let me tell you why I do that illustration with you guys. Like you said something here earlier. You said, if there's good, there must be evil. Right? And, and, and the Bible talks about Satan being a real person. And he's the biggest deceiver that ever lived. So if I can deceive you in one second, Satan can deceive a person over 30, 40, 50 years and they find out that they have been deceived and they have only been deceived in the place that he's been trying to get them to go for 50, 60 years, right? If you were to die today, what would be your highest percent chance you think you'll have of escaping hell? Highest percent chance. You have your, of escaping hell. I mean, I, <laughs> no, nah, jeez. No, nah, I mean, I, I have my issues. I have my, you know yep. what I'm saying? I try to do the best I can. Yep. I'm trying to be, the best person, the person I was taught to be. Sure. So, I would, I would say my chance is pretty high. Pretty high. Because you know what I'm saying. Regardless of what goes on, sure. You know, I try to have my devotional time every day. Yeah. It doesn't always happen. And for a long time, right. it didn't happen. Right. But I'm trying to get back on track with it. Yeah, man. I'm confident my chance will be high. Okay. Andy, what you think? Because Jesus talks actually about hell more than anybody in the whole Bible. I don't know if you guys knew that. Because he knew it was real because he created it. Hell and heaven was real. What's your highest percent chance you think you have, Andy, of escaping hell? If it's based on my heart, I think I have a pretty 90% chance of escaping. But if it's based on my actions right now in life, yeah. I'm going to be in there. Okay. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. <laughs> you, you think you, you say you're going to hell with a scholarship? <laughs> Room and board pay? Gasoline draws. Woo! <laughs> my goodness. All right, see, and I'm going to test you out. So when by the time you walk out this door, you'll know exactly where you stand. All right? And you'll know exactly what you can do. Based on the Bible, the Bible says you can test yourself to see whether you're in the faith. Have you ever read that? I've heard that. Mm -hmm. Paul said to examine yourself to see where you are spiritually. No, that I haven't heard. All right? Then he says you need to examine yourself lest you, lest you fail the test. Consistently. Yeah, so here we go. And I'm going to give you, you ever heard of the Ten Commandments? All right? Now, you're going to be surprised what the purpose of the Ten Commandments is. This may shock you. You have any idea what the purpose of the Ten Commandments is? Self-reflection. Self? How did you know that? I wouldn't expect you to know that. <laughs> I mean, it, I know the Bible. I know a lot of books of faith. I just don't have one. It's like a mirror. It's like a mirror to your soul. It's not a mirror to the outside. It's a mirror to your soul to see what your soul looks like. And you know your soul is going to live for eternity. Yeah. But your flesh will perish. will die, right? Your the flesh will eventually perish. 150,000 people die every single 24 hours. Collectively around the world. I, I, that's, that statistic blew my mind. Two people per second are just snapping off. And all of us have our expiration date. Right? So let me give you the good person test. The, the Ten Commandments to let you examine your soul. Alright? So here we go. 